Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will discuss about different types and methods of load balancing in F5 Big IP. So when we talk about different types of load balancing, the load balancing is classified as static load balancing and dynamic load balancing. Static load balancing is further classified into round robin load balancing method and ratio based load balancing method. Round robin method we have configured in our previous tutorial. Moving on, dynamic load balancing is further classified into three different load balancing methods. They are least connection, fastest and ratio. Ratio based dynamic ratio based load balancing is further classified into ratio observed and ratio predictive. So the major types of load balancing are static and dynamic. The static load balancing when we talk about a static load balancing it doesn't consider the server device performance like if your server device performance is slow or it has some issue or something it will not consider whenever the client request come it will straight away send the request irrespective of the device performance but this is not the case with the dynamic load balancing dynamic load balancing do consider the server device server device performance for performing the load balancing when we will move further and discuss in detail you will understand like what exactly is done in static load balancing and how it doesn't consider the device performance server device performance uh, then how the dynamic load balancing differs now comes the load balancing based on node as we know a node can be a member of multiple server pool as you can see over here the node one is a member of ftp pool but node 2 is a member of ftp pool as well as a web server pool and node 3 is a member of web server pool load balancing based on node consider total connection forwarded to server device whether it can be from one server pool or from multiple server pool so as you can see over here node 1 has received 10 ftp connections and node 3 has received 10 web connections but if you will see over here the node 2 has received 10 ftp connections and 10 web connections so in total node 2 has received 20 connections this is what it means like the total connection forwarded to server device when you select a load balancing based on node consider total connection forwarded to server device it can be from one server pool or from multiple server pool so the load balancing method supported over here are ratio static and dynamic least connection and fastest the next come load balancing based on pool member when you select a load balancing based on pool member it consider only connection from specific server pool application or a service port so this is the reason you can see over here node 1 has 10 connections node 2 has 10 connections and even node 3 has 10 connections the load balancing methods supported over here are ratio based load balancing static and dynamic least connection and fastest next comes round robin static load balancing method in round robin the client connections are distributed evenly and alternatively among all the pool member of the server pool so whenever the request the client what is going to happen is the first request will go to node 1 the second request will go to node 2 third request will go to node 3 then again the fourth request will go to node 1 it will be distributed evenly as uh, we have discussed earlier also it's a static uh, load balancing method it does not consider server device performance whether the server device performance is low or whatever it is it will evenly distribute the 
client connections request it does not support node or pool member assignment next comes ratio static client connection request distributed on basis of what ratio value assigned to each server device and you as a admin can decide this ratio value so what you can do is accessing the web gui of the f5 appliance you can define the static value you can define the ratio on your own and the logic is very simple over here higher ratio higher number of connection lower ratio lower number of connections so as you can see over here the node 1 ratio value is 5 the node 2 ratio value is 3 the node 3 ratio value is 1 so accordingly you are getting 10 connections on the node 1 7 connections on node 2 3 connections on node 3 in static ratio load balancing it doesn't consider performance of server device but it support node or a pool member based load balancing ratio dynamic observed in ratio dynamic observed load balancing method client requests are distributed based on dynamically assigned ratio value logic is same higher ratio value device receives more connection and less ratio value device receives less connection but this ratio value is assigned by load balancer dynamically because it is a dynamic load balancing method and the admin cannot define the ratio value over here so the server with less connections are assign ratio value 3 and server with more connection are assigned ratio value 2 so it is 3 is to 2 ratio value and being an admin you cannot define since it is a dynamic load balancing method the load balancer will dynamically assign the ratio when you select the load balancing method as ratio dynamic observed since it is a dynamic load balancing method, it do consider server device performance for assigning ratio value and also supports node or pool member assignment. Next comes ratio based load balancing dynamic predictive. Over here, client requests are distributed based on dynamically assigned ratio value. Everything will remain same. What we have seen in ratio observed the similar things will be over here only the ratio value over there in the observed load balancing method was 3 is to 2 over here it will be 4 is to 1 which means that server with less, less connections are assigned ratio value 4 and server with more connections are assigned ratio value 1 only the difference between this load balancing method is about the ratio value in observed load balancing method the ratio value assigned is 3 is to 2 in predictive it is 4 is to 1 list connection as the name implies in this load balancing method client connection is distributed to server device with least number of connection load as you can see over here node 1 has 10 connections whereas node 2 has 7 connection and node 3 has 3 connections so the client request coming to the load balancer, the load balancer will shift the request to the server device which has least connection. Since node 3 has only 3 connection which is the less number, the request will go to server 3. This load balancing method considers server device performance and support node pool member assignment. As you can see, it is clearly, the figure itself says that it is checking for the device performance the device which has the least connection the request is sent over there the next comes the fastest method in this load balancing method client connection is distributed to the server device whose response rate is very fast as you can see over here in the figure 
Node 1 has 20 active connections, Node 2 has 15 active connections, whereas Node 3 has 5 active connections. Since Node 3 has 5 active connections, the response rate of this server will be high as compared to Node 1 and Node 2. So the client request coming to the F5 load balancer will be sent to Node 3, which has 5 active connections. This load balancing method considers server device performance and supports node or pool member assignment. So that's all guys about the different types of load balancing and methods. In the next tutorial, we will be configuring different different types of load balancing method one by one. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it now and do share with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.